So the question is asking us to write this in what's called algebraic form. That basically means we have to get rid of all of the trig functions and end up with purely uh, functions of x. So let's go ahead and work through it carefully. So the first step in these problems is always to take this piece here and call that piece theta. So step one, we're going to let theta be equal to the inside piece. So arc tangent of x over the square root of 2. And then, then you use the fact that the arctangent is the inverse tangent. So the arctangent takes x over the square root of 2 and sends it to theta. This means that the tangent function takes theta and sends it back to x over the square root of 2. So they're inverse functions, so they undo each other. So again, arctangent takes this expression here, x over the square root of 2, and sends it to theta. So the tangent takes theta and sends it back to x over the square root of 2. Now we get to use our ancient proverb, so ka toa. So tangent is oa, so ka toa, so it's o over a. And so now we draw a beautiful triangle for theta. And these are always the steps, by the way. Every time you do one of these problems, you know, step one, you call it theta. Use the fact that they're inverse functions. Use Sokotoa and draw a triangle. So this is theta. So opposite is x, so that'll be this one here. And adjacent is this one here, square root of 2. Okay, so now we need to find the missing side. So this is the hypotenuse, so you could call it c. However, I like to always call it little b. So now we use the ancient theorem of Pythagoras, which tells us that b squared is equal to x squared plus the square root of 2 quantity squared. And when we solve for b, we take the square root of both sides. Now normally when you take a square root, you're supposed to get a plus or minus. However, this is the length of the side of a triangle, so it can't be negative. So this is equal to the square root of x squared plus 2. Personally, I like to fill in the triangle, so I'm going to go back here and actually fill it in. Um, a lot of people don't do that. That's fine. Um, I like to fill it in. All right, now we're going to finish the problem. So let's go back to the original question. We have the cosecant of the arctangent of x over the square root of 2. Well, this is really the cosecant of theta. And now think about so toa, right? So cosecant is 1 over sine, so it's ho. So it's h over o, so it's hypotenuse over opposite, because cosecant is 1 over sine. So instead of so, it's ho, it's backwards. Hypotenuse is the square root of x squared plus 2. And the opposite is x, so over x. Wow, and that's it. That's actually the final answer. So really quick recap. First step, you call it theta. Then use the factor inverses. Use Sokotoa, draw a triangle, solve for all the sides in your triangle, go back to the original question, use Sokotoa again, and you are done. And that's how pros do it. I hope this video has been helpful.